Kenya is widely considered to be one of the most technologically advanced countries in Africa. It has one of the continent's deepest internet and mobile phone penetrations and has made significant progress in the development of its ICT sector. In addition, Kenya has one of the fastest and most reliable internet connections on the continent. Currently, there are six undersea fiber optic cables that enter the country from the Indian Ocean through the coastal region. These cables include Easy, Lion 2, Seacom, among others. And these cables are a major part of a Kenyan project called the National Broadband Strategy, or the NBS 2018 to 2023 project. The ultimate vision of the project is to transform Kenya into a knowledge-based economy by providing citizens with a fast, reliable, secure, and affordable internet connection. And if you want to read more about the project, you can download the official government documentation I've provided in the description below. Thanks to the successful launch and growth of M-Pesa over a decade ago, Kenya is widely considered the pioneer of the mobile money industry. The widespread adoption and use of technologies like M-Pesa made it easier for everyone to access financial services and make transactions easily. The Kenyan government has also invested in initiatives to promote the development of the tech industry, such as the establishment of technology hubs and the promotion of entrepreneurship. With this in mind, how is Kenya's ICT sector? Well, Kenya has made significant advancements in the field of information communication technology in recent years in several ways. Let's have a look at them. Number one, mobile money. Kenya is considered a pioneer in the mobile money technology. It was the first country to successfully roll out a mobile phone-based financial service that would be embraced by its citizens and become the most popular means of money transfer. M-Pesa allows users to send and receive money, pay their bills, and access other financial services using their phones. It was launched in 2007 by Safaricom, the leading mobile network operator in Kenya, and has since become a major part of the country's financial landscape. In 2022, M-Pesa had over 32 million active users in the country, representing a significant percentage of the 54 million total population of the country. Other mobile network operators like Airtel Kenya and Telcom also have their own mobile money services. And thanks to the fact that Kenyans can easily send money from one network to another, the industry is growing stronger every day. The network operators are constantly expanding and improving their infrastructure to ensure they have the capacity to support present day and future ICT demand in Kenya. The success of M-Pesa has also inspired the development of similar mobile money systems in several other countries around the world. Number two, internet and mobile phone penetration. Kenya has a very deep internet and mobile phone penetration, and this has contributed to the rapid development of the ICT sector in the country. According to the World Bank, Kenya's mobile phone subscription rate is approximately 97% meaning it has one of the deepest levels of mobile phone penetration on the continent. To put it simply, almost everyone in the country has access to a mobile phone. The Kenyan government has also made efforts to increase access to the internet, with the mobile internet penetration having stood at around 75% in 2021. That's two years ago, which means today the percentage is even higher. Kenyans mainly use their phones for communication, banking, and access to information, which makes phones an important tool for socioeconomic development in the country. Number three, technology hubs and startups. The Kenyan government has invested in initiatives to promote the development of the tech industry, such as the establishment of technology hubs and the promotion of entrepreneurship. The growth of Kenyan tech hubs and startups has been made possible by a number of factors, including the increasing availability of venture capital and other funding sources, the high level of mobile phone internet penetration in the country, and a relatively supportive regulatory environment. According to a report entitled The Kenyan Startup Ecosystem Report, which is published by Disrupt Africa, at least 242 Kenyan tech startups raised a total of $1.28 billion between January 2015 and November 2022, which places Kenya second only to Nigeria in terms of amount invested. 
The report also shows that Kenya stands fourth on the list of the African countries with the most successful startup exits right behind South Africa, Egypt and Nigeria. As a result, the technology startup sector in Kenya has grown significantly in recent years with many successful ventures emerging in areas such as mobile banking, e-commerce, education technology, and much more. Some of the most notable Kenyan startups that come to mind include Africa's Talking, Sendi, iPay, Tala, Maidawa, JumboPay, and Vuma. But of course, that's just the tip of the iceberg, as Kenya has more than 600 tech startups worth mentioning. We just don't have the time. Number four, agricultural technology. Kenya has also made significant progress in the development of agricultural technology. For example, the use of drones for crop monitoring, the adoption of precision farming technologies that use sensors and data analytics to optimize crop production, and the introduction of mobile apps that connect smallholder farmers to buyers and other agricultural sector stakeholders. In addition, a number of organizations such as the International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology, or what Kenyans call ISIPE, and the Agricultural Livestock Research Organization, or CALRO, are working to support the development and adoption of agricultural technology solutions in the country. In general, the continued application of agricultural technology in Kenya has the potential to improve the efficiency and productivity of the agricultural industry and therefore contribute to the economic and social development of the country. Number five, e-government. Over the years, the Kenyan government has introduced a number of e-government initiatives, including the use of state-of-the-art electronic voting systems in general elections and the digitization of several government services through online platforms such as eCitizen. This is all part of Kenya's digital master plan, which aims to transform Kenya into a digital economy in the shortest time possible. And by the way, what do we mean by Kenya's digital master plan? Let's understand what Kenya plans to do to become an African tech giant of the future. The Kenya Digital Master Plan is a 10-year government-led initiative that aims to accelerate the country's transition to a digital economy. The plan was launched in April 2020 by the Ministry of Information, Communication and Technology in consultation with other government agencies, the private sector, and civil society organizations. The main goal of the Digital Master Plan is to create an enabling environment for the growth and development of the digital economy in Kenya with a focus on four main areas or four main pillars. Let's look at the four pillars. Number one, digital infrastructure. Kenya wants to increase access to affordable and reliable digital infrastructure and services. It aims to do this by installing a brand new 100,000 km high speed fiber optic cable all over the country to provide reliable internet to all schools, government institutions, metro cities, health facilities, rural businesses, homes, and public spaces for social economic growth, creating cloud infrastructure for government and private sector management services, establishing thousands of free internet hotspots countrywide to empower youth entrepreneurs and innovators, and so on. There is actually a 140-page document published by the Ministry of ICT describing all this, and I'll link it in the description if you're interested in reading it. Second pillar, digital services, products, and data management. This is part of Kenya's plan to make all government services easily available to every citizen through the internet. Although Kenyans already have access to many government services through eCitizen, a lot more services are yet to be made available online and many government records are still only accessible manually. The Digital Master Plan aims to automate access to all these manual records and services. In fact, in his Jamhuri Day speech of 2022, the new Kenyan president, William Ruto, vowed to make this happen within six months. Pillar number three. As an extension of the plan to make all government services available online, the Kenya Digital Master Plan also aims to equip at least 20 million citizens with digital literacy skills and 10,000 ICT professionals with high-end tech skills. This will ensure that public servants and teachers have the necessary IT proficiency skills needed to effectively deliver services to citizens and that the citizens are able to apply technology in their businesses and access government e-services. 
Pillar number four, digital innovation, enterprise, and digital business. The Kenyan government plans to support more innovative tech ideas created by Kenyans and help turn them into sustainable businesses for the betterment of society. Through this kind of support, the government aims to create a more startup-friendly environment to boost growth in the technological sector of the economy. And so those are the four pillars of the Kenya Digital Master Plan of 2022 to 2032. In a nutshell, the Digital Master Plans includes a number of specific initiatives and targets such as increasing internet penetration, easing access to government services by making them available online, and creating a conducive environment for technology to thrive. The ultimate goal of the Digital Master Plan is to leverage technology to drive economic growth and improve the lives of Kenyans. If you're interested, you can download a copy of the official documentation of the master plan in the description below. But now, of course, for the digital master plan to succeed, there is obviously a need for a policy and regulatory framework that is designed to empower the tech industry and enable the digital economy to thrive. For Kenya to keep growing as a tech giant in the global arena, it needs future-oriented laws and policies that encourage the growth of the tech industry. As stated in the official documentation of the Kenya Digital Master Plan, Kenya is a member of several international conventions and standards relating to ICT. A few of these include the International Telecommunications Union, the World Summit on the Information Society, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, which is the organization responsible for the domain name system, and the UN Open-Ended Working Group, which was established as a platform for discussions about developments in the field of information and telecommunications in the context of international security. So this means that as Kenya formulates and implements ICT laws and policies, it needs to ensure they are cohesive with the international conventions while at the same time creating a vibrant local tech-friendly legal environment. And speaking of a vibrant local tech-friendly environment, you might be wondering, how is Kenya spending money on its technology sector in 2023? The Kenyan government in its 2022-2023 financial year budget allocated approximately $132 million to ICT projects. Let's have a more specific look at how that money was allocated. The Konza Technopolis project was allocated $76 million. $22.9 million was allocated to the Last Mile Connectivity project. $10 million is budgeted for the maintenance and rehabilitation of the second phase of a major fiber optic cable known as the National Optic Fiber Backbone Initiative, or NOFBI. This cable runs through all 47 counties to provide fast internet to all Kenyans. $11.8 million will go to the installation and commissioning of a new fiber optic cable that runs from Eldoret to Nadapa in Rift Valley near the border of South Sudan. $2.6 million will go to the digital literacy program and ICT integration in secondary schools. And $5.26 million has been put aside for other ICT-related government shared services. Since the early 2000s, Kenya has been a technological leader not only in East Africa but the entire continent. Over the years, there has been steady growth in the application of technology in various sectors of the Kenyan economy. Kenya is one of the top five African countries with the highest concentration of professional software and app developers. In addition, Kenya has consistently been on the list of countries that have received the most startup funding from global venture capitalists for years. This means that the Kenyan tech startup scene is one of the most popular in Africa among venture capitalists from all over the world. And with the introduction of the eCitizen platform several years ago, Kenyans have been able to access many government services through one online portal, removing the need for Kenyans to spend hours in queues waiting to be served. The national broadband strategy has made it possible for Kenyans to access fast, reliable internet connection through the four high-speed undersea cables I mentioned earlier. 
This has positioned the country for success in a world that is increasingly becoming more globalized because of the internet. Kenya's deep mobile phone penetration has enabled Kenyans to communicate and do business much faster and more efficiently. Mobile money services like M-Pesa have enabled the lowest income earners to do business transactions and other banking activities at affordable cost. As we progress into the future, Kenya can only expect more technological growth in the various areas outlined in the Kenya Digital Master Plan if well executed. With the right kind of leadership, Kenya will not only continue to be an attractive technological hub in Africa, but it will also grow to be a highly respectable global tech titan in years to come. It is important to note that technological development varies within and between countries, and there are many other African countries that also have advanced technology sectors. For example, South Africa, Morocco, Ghana, and Nigeria have made significant progress in the development of their ICT sectors, and there are tech hubs and startups in a number of other African countries. In general, Africa has made significant progress in developing its technology infrastructure and promoting innovation, and this trend is likely to continue as we step into the future. And by the way, if you love technology, you and I are both on the same team, the winning team. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button to make it official and be notified as soon as I publish the next story because there is more where this came from. One more thing before I go, while Kenya has made huge technological strides in the several areas we've looked at in this report, there's still much more that needs to be done, especially in the fast tracking of technology projects that are behind schedule, like the Konza Technopolis project. And just in case you're wondering about the progress of the Konza Technopolis today in 2023, I published a comprehensive report about it two weeks ago. So I recommend you check it out right now if you haven't already. Click the thumbnail on the screen right now and I'm sure you will find it very informative. Otherwise, this marks the end of this episode. As always, I'm Mr. Moneybags and until next time, I wish you nothing but success.